I teach journalism at a high level, and we are always emphasizing the need to be comprehensive enough. Don't leave rooms for necessary questions to be asked about your report. This one is shoddy. I must be frank, it's shoddy. It's not, it wasn't done by some village broadcaster that does not have the equipment and the support. BBC has it. It took them one year to produce this. It's shoddy. I would, if my student did this for me, I'll fail them. Yes. This is pure sensationalism. It shouldn't be encouraged. I see, but what did you make of the characters in there? Obviously, they were picked. They were picked. And in doing an investigative piece, you may pick characters. Because the thing is that you may have heard there are several of these issues. And then you may have heard that these particular people are possible corporates. So you may target them. That for me, there's, there's no problem. However, the lady at the center of it all is not a student. Her psychological makeup alone is not that of a student. She had nothing to lose. So she could go all out and entice anybody. She's not a student. If any student walks in here to speak with me, there's some respect. Even if the lecturer or the professor is known to be somebody who abuses students, allegedly, when you walk to the office, there's some fear and respect. I didn't see it in this one. She had, she had been coached, rehearsed. So she went in there to do a professional job, you know? So she, she knew that there were cameras behind there. And as much as she was alone with the professors in their various offices, she knew at the back of her mind that the whole world was behind her. It gives a lot of them, as it were, to go all out to entice or seduce somebody. So for me, it, it, it really...